Goaltender Dan Luisano. Dan, you guys just won the Americas Conference Championship. Game went into PKs. How nervous were you going into PKs? Um, I really, uh, it, was, it was pretty nervous, uh, nerve wracking. Um, a lot of people here definitely didn't want to let them down. My team, we trained really hard all spring and all summer. And uh, going into the second overtime, I told them, I was like, you guys give me 10 minutes, I'll give you this game. And, you know, with promising that, you know, I better come up big, right? <laughs> so, no, yeah. Uh, it was, it was pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> and uh, tell me about the one save you had that won the game for you guys. Um, he, uh, you know, I, I saw him kind of giving it away, so I got a good jump on it, got my body behind it, you know, make sure I bat it wide, so there's no nothing funky happens. It hops over me or anything. Um, I felt I had it all the way. I was hoping I had got a few more, but one was enough today. And uh, just go through uh, just the PKs at the end of the game. You guys don't have those during the regular season, but here in the championship, you had them. I mean, we've been practicing it in practice. You know, we got down to the top five. And as far as this particular sequence, I saw that he wasn't going to his, to my left. Like, a lot of us shot to the left, and he wasn't even going that way. I usually shoot to the right, but I saw he wasn't going that way, so I just said, why not go with that? We're with Coach Karenji. Coach, America East Conference champions. 0-0 zero, zero game going into overtime. A couple close opportunities, then went into PKs. You know, how confident were you in your team's ability in those five shots? I was very confident. I was very confident in the five shooters. I was very confident in our goal keeper. Um, we practiced that for the last two weeks. So uh, I knew those guys were, were going to go up there and make their shots. And uh, I, I figured if we get an opportunity, Dan's going to save one. So, um, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen. But I was very confident of those guys. Is there anything um, you want to point out about the game, you know, early in the game or late in the game? That yeah, I, I mean, it was. We knew that it was going to be a very tough game because they're a very good defensive team. Um, they play with five backs, and most college teams don't play that way. And uh, they're they're great defensively. They keep the shape, and we really wanted to press the issue and try to go at them. And it's a tough team to break down, but all along we've been very confident that no matter what was going to happen, we were going to win the game. So if it got down to a penalty kicks. And we're just happy for the, the crowd that we had and the atmosphere. And I've been here a long time, and that was one of the best atmospheres I've ever seen at a UMBC athletic event.